Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, however it might go in whatever order. Welcome to the Shotgun Thoughts Podcast. We are here tonight, and of course, it's going to be a blast, baby. We're talking about a lot of different stuff. Of course, there's been a lot of developments over the past week. There has been quite an insurmountable load of information. I, I must I must tell you that it's it's quite a bit. So, you know I like to be all over the place. So we're probably gonna start off on a little bit of the political front. There was uh there was quite a quite a bit of things that happened. You had like Monday, I think it was Monday, there was the verdict on the woman in California <clears throat> that actually won her lawsuit for uh, discrimination. I think it was for specifically retaliation, something like that. Something silly with Starbucks. She ended up getting like 25, 23 million, something like that. Whatever. A lot of money. But it, it it's not even about the money. It's more about the fact that this was California and this was a white person in a discrimination case. And, you know, it just... There's... This country has a backbone... Of legal processes it's the reason why things are so fucked up right now to a degree it's been so long and there's been enough time for these corrupt evil processes to really implement themselves you know in a righteous fashion in the legal way at least to some aspect you know at least on on on, on the outside appearance of things so anyway it's a very huge indicator of Things in this country starting to move in a different way and that is not only the case with this but there has been a boatload of information coming out on this administration and forget about it biden right now they didn't even show anything on television he got impeached by congress it's supposed to be followed up with the homeland security committee and stuff like that which um, probably be getting to that in the future when there is a conclusion to that. But um, yeah, there actually seems to be quite a bit of traction right now. Like, it's no longer playtime. Like, people, there is so many people in this country, in this world, pissed off with the conditions of what's going on. It is completely out of control right now. There's already enough problems, and I'm glad that people like RFK, uh, Robert Kennedy are really raising some points even trump's getting behind this but the autoimmune problems in in, all over globally in the u.s they're out of control right now i got multiple sclerosis this really developed over the past two years for me into something that i could actually you know like like actualize into you know me being like holy shit something's wrong with me but anyway there's people with autism all of these things that are very strange i mean multiple sclerosis you got my my immune system is attacking my nervous system so i have um my b cells are attacking the neurons and the nerve endings in my body so there's damage on my brain and my spine on my neck on my brain and on my lower back, my lower spine. So, it's crazy. What the hell would cause my immune system to attack itself? And my immune system is absolutely fantabulous. I have, I'm on medication right now that is lowering my B cell count dramatically, which is supposed to expose me to, you know, at least make me a little more vulnerable and susceptible to cold, flu, stuff like that. But thankfully, we're riding high. I, I, you know, the, that's the strangest thing. I have, I have an autoimmune disorder, something wrong with me, technically, but statistically on paper, I am the healthiest person in my family. I mean, you know, I look, I look okay. You know, I look okay here. You know, we got some, some collarbones and stuff, but anyway, I, I'm, I've been overweight since I'm 15 years old, you know? I, I am the, should be the most out of shape, unhealthiest person in my family. But, you know, I continuously am able to, well, not anymore. I cannot run. I cannot even walk 
okay. It's quite a it's quite a bit of a problem, you know, something that in the last two years. But anyway, it's not about that. Point is, there's a lot of strange shit going on with a lot of this stuff. And uh, there's people intent on looking into it. And it's about time because there's so much shit going wrong all over the place that we have solutions to all of this. This is 2023 now, man. We've had the solutions for like problems that we've had from the 1960s. Like we've had them. We've had them. They were there from 1965. You know, it, it's like, it, it's crazy. We just need to start working on solutions and accountability man just talking about these things stop letting people get away with bullshit you know what i'm saying i bullshit but guess what people catch me on that and i'm a very humble guy in that sense <laughs> i'll own up to my bullshit and that's why if i don't know something i'm gonna tell you guys i don't know about this you know which i don't you know i'm not i'm not supplying source material anything like that but I, i'm telling you guys that i don't, I don't really talk about shit unless it's something that that I could verify verifiably be like all right you know what I'm saying if you look into this you're gonna find something you're gonna find something because I, I, people call me a contrarian I constantly vet people they tell me how their day was I'm asking you know <laughs> I'm asking questions to get to the bottom of these facts so when you and it annoys people it really gets to them I don't know why like you know, I, I like to be able to spread information around. So if you can't really come up with uh, some grounding to what you're telling me, then I don't know. I'm probably not going to repeat that to somebody else. That's for sure. The very least. But anyway. So a lot of crazy shit. You know, RFK, he was talking about atrazine in the water, which is they did the test, the experiment, 30 times the acceptable level for EPA standards for atrazine or I guess chemicals in the water and they used atrazine to basically be able to change the gender of the frogs so you know when you're when you're looking at what's going on in society today and you want to again I don't have sources to this but to say that it's effective on humans I understand controversial that you know to the same degree as the frogs and everything but Again, the reference to society and what's going on, you cannot say that at least there's a probable probable link between those two because the rates of transgenderism, what is it, body dysmorphia and um, gender dysmorphia, basically, I guess. I don't know what it would be culminated, like boiled down to psychologically, but... That stuff was at a fairly consistent rate over time, and now it's just exploded. Like, you got transgenderism and people confused about everything nowadays. Forget about it. You can't even get a sentence across without having to clarify literally almost every word, especially if they're words that are not really conformed to the standards of, of today's society. Which is strange, you know? That's why we really haven't, like, moved too much. We, we we got technology and AI fucking blowing us out of the water in terms of, um, you know, what you call it? like propagation, like just advancement. If the, the AI, the technology itself, like everything that we put our effort into is continuing to expand. But the human consciousness in the sense of like what we're doing to our own people and everything it's just strange we're at a strange point in time right now and good god i th i think we're on we're you know i think the light's shining I, th I think the tunnel has been a long fucking tunnel man this started let me tell you this is not just now this is where like the boiling point like we've been reduced to nothing at this point and people are really barking back and trying to trying to change what's gonna happen but this really all started a ways back but you know that that's again again we're getting off topic a little bit we'll bring it back so now this week as well there was talk about mark zuckerberg and elon musk getting into a cage match like they're gonna be having a cage match at least both of them i can't 
confirm this myself. I know pretty much from everything I've seen, there's been nothing refuting this so far from the, what I've seen. But Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, they're basically going to be, uh, be having it out. They're going to, uh, they both agreed, which people think that Mark Zuckerberg, as nerdy as that guy might be, and he kind of seems, you know, it doesn't look like he's, he's, he's like a fighter or anything like that. But I'll tell you what, man, that guy's been doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu for the past, uh, I don't know, but it's been a while. It's been a while, I'll tell you what. And I know it's some guy who's training him is pretty badass. So, 100%, if they do fight, I don't know if they're going to exchange change the rules a little bit. But Elon Musk is going to have to, like, bribe somebody to change the rules or something. And uh, he's going to have to, like, pull out some gadgets. He's going to have to go inspect a gadget on that, on uh, Mr. Zuck. Team Zuck, I don't know <laughs> how Team Zuck is building. But Team Elon seems pretty damn strong. Even though I don't know the backing, the evidence behind how he might come to a victory is kind of, uh, it's eluding him. There's not, there's not too much on that. I don't know. Unless he's been in secret. Because they both kind of gladly agreed to this. But yeah, we'll see how that develops. That, that could be something really interesting for everybody to to really, it'd be great after all this, you know? Like, I don't know why the UFC, anyway, that, that that's that's a whole different thing. The UFC needs to really branch out. They should be on more venues nowadays. You don't need to be with these freaking pay-per-view type of shits. It's crazy. It's crazy. What do you mean? Look at me. You're watching me naked with my shirt off, talking about fucking 65 things in, in a 30-minute period. So, uh, yeah, we got... We got those two guys fo looking to have a battle, and uh, I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty interested, man. Pretty interested in how that goes down. Like I said, I think I think uh, Mr. Zuck is gonna surprise a lot of people because the man's been training. He's been really training. I think he's been going to get it. All right. Um. Kind of losing, losing my my patterns here. Patterns, patterns of the. Uh... So yeah. Anyway, I apologize because last week was crazy, man. I had a court case that I could not find lawyers for. I must have called twenty five different law firms, and uh, I could not have anybody to represent me in this discrimination case. So. Yeah, I had to like study up and really put my nose to the to the fucking floorboards and and uh yeah, thankfully they they had to extend the hearing and it gives me a little more time to look for a lawyer and everything, but that's still going to keep me preoccupied now cuz I have to go back to to looking for a lawyer cuz it might get a little more serious where I'm hoping that you know, I don't know just mentally overloaded having to represent myself again be a little bit crazy be a little bit crazy um and then i had a I had a rough patch with my wife which i don't blame her man i really don't sometimes i i i, I i'm crazy i i get nuts like that i just you know i had a lot going on and I don't know, man. We all act a fool sometimes, and you know sometimes you think you're you're so justified, and you know m maybe there's points that you had and everything, but at the end of the day, when you realize that there's stuff that you could do better, and really, if you just you know you just kind of give them a little bit more of what they want, give my wife a little bit more of what she's asking for in that sense. Even though I feel it's a high demand already and I'm taxed and it's just like, that's life, you know? You're going to have to keep trying to put out put out that 110% even when, uh, when things don't feel too well. So, I just had to, to kind of suck it up as much as I felt like, and I still feel like that to some degree. I feel like a lot of people owe me apologies 
and you know i might get down to that one way or the other but you know it's, it's the way i go about it i can't expect that that people are going to understand exactly where i'm coming from and everything because obviously when you get super emotional and you let things out in a way that is totally not how you would handle that if you were level-headed it's just like of course there's going to be unintended results from that you know so i'm just accepting that i always have been a little bit a, a little more accountable than a lot of people that i uh i, I wish would confront me in the sense of you know, making amends because it kind of sucks to be that person that always has to say sorry and everything because there's moments where yeah i'm definitely wrong 100 percent and i i need to do my best to right those wrongs but there are plenty of other times where i feel like i just haven't had my due and i'm not even like looking for you to apologize in that way to feel like that righteousness oh yeah i'm right you know and no it's just to know that i'm understood and that what you did you get why i'm hurt why i'm asking for the apology or why i would appreciate that because i don't know i'm a human being man and to not be heard and to to be basically made to feel like i'm fucking losing my mind over here meanwhile i'm the one that anyway it's not about me the point is is that there's always a compromise that you can make and at the end of the day it might not be your day but you're never gonna get there if you just give up on it so it's not like it's like sometimes you got to pick your battles with that you really do it's not like you're trying to win a war this is not a contest here but it's a matter of fact of like personal preservation you know, you got to right those wrongs. When people wrong you, I don't know. To some degree, I, I do seek some communicational form of, like, admonishment, all right? You know, you, you got to accept that. I don't know. That's what keeps people fucking on a path that's not respectable. Because nobody's holding you to account, man. Nobody's holding you to account. And it's, it's like a lot of people don't want to confront things in life, but I've always been about that. And it, it fucked with me, man. It fucks with me. That's why I'm in this situation where I'm losing my fucking mind right now because I got like 60, six zero things to juggle all the time. It's, it's insane. And, and that is life. There's always a lot of shit going on, but it's just a lot of stuff that I would never expected to have have to handle myself. Like a lot of these legal things and paperwork with the government, I mean, applying for things with disability and service dog and all this type of stuff. Like I'm not capable how I used to be, so it's just, it's just rough, man. So last week, I'm sorry, it's just, it took a lot of me to, to have to focus on the things that, that were kind of falling apart right in front of me. Otherwise, you know. Maybe there wouldn't be this man here talking to you today. Some fucking reason. Some foolish reason. Be acting a fool. Doing stupid shit. That I would definitely regret. So. Get inside my own head too much. I think that could be the case for a lot of us. People feel, you know, they're on a different page and stuff like that. Or you feel like you're on a different page from people. Can happen a lot of the times. Feel like a lot of people are friggin' robots, but I had that check when I was younger. Just gotta ask somebody, it's like, are you a robot? <laughs> like, no, of course I'm not a robot. I am not no robot. Anyway. And of course, back to the news. We got Adam Schiff was censored, censored in Congress, which is like there's only like twenty twenty one people, twenty something people. That have been censored by Congress. So, again, Republicans, fucking corrupt people being held to account. There's a lot of these people. So, you know, if you think that nothing's happening, it's a pretty pessimistic thing, way to look at it. I mean, there's way more that could be happening. But, you know, a lot of these, these politicians who look in a, 
really make a change are are, are getting the the stuff working Anna Paulina uh Marjorie Taylor Green which uh, you know sometimes they might be saying some cray cray stuff then again I don't look into it I don't know about these things too much so unless you're going to look these things up and come to an actual concise conclusion with with some supporting evidence and things like that look these things up the information nowadays is so crazy so it's like you know i like to just look at the actions what what is the, what have these people done what did they contribute to and at the end of the day it seems to to be resolute in that aspect where they seem to be attached to the right things and if they're attached to the wrong things it seems to show you know one way or the other then uh you know, Biden was holding, well, not, not only the Biden administration, but you also had the U.S. Navy, which obviously part of the government, but a lot of sources knew about this Titan implosion that happened, the submarine that all these people paid $250,000 to go basically to die. Unfortunately, I cannot believe, if you look into this story, it's so much crazier than even anything I'm telling you right now. Like, they once this started to become a thing, because for the whole week this last week, you had people thinking that these people were alive inside the submarine, and everybody's, lo you know, thinking about it, looking into it, this and that, how could this happen? You know, counting down the amount of oxygen these people have, creating all this news uh you know frenzy and everything and these people were were the the biden administration knew on sunday the u.s navy knew on sunday that those people were done in, in the submarine that that thing imploded at a, a pressure i forget what it is what they what they consider it but 375 atmospheres like a regular implosion that you would see usually happen you know like with a gas tank or something it's like at a at a one atmospheric pressure you know so imagine 375 atmospheric pressures it was an instantaneous type of thing but i cannot imagine what these people went through and how that came to be again this is something that'll be unfolding as time goes on so i would definitely suggest that people look into it if they're interested and you know hopefully there's an explanation into some of this shit because it's ridiculous i feel like there has to, like it almost makes the most sense for there to be a conspiracy behind that because how in the world did that even come to pass and i heard actually yesterday that mr beast or it was yeah yet well almost no today Mr. Beast was saying that a month before they launched the Titan, the submarine, that he was offered a spot on the Titan. Isn't that crazy? And he turned it down. I mean, I don't know why those people accepted. It did not seem like it should be because there's a lot of videos of the construction, everything like that going on with this stuff. And the CEO of this company, or at least the person in charge of hiring, whatever it might be, in some aspect, I can't say for sure who it was or what, but they were, they were pushing this EEC, the EOC, the equity inclusion, um, uh, whatever, the, this diversity stuff, this woke agenda. So they were hiring people that were unqualified for the roles, and you got this submarine that... Forget about it. It was bolted shut. So they weren't getting out of this thing without assistance from the beginning. So it was just like, from start to finish, this thing was doomed to fail in a spectacular fashion. And it didn't disappoint in that sense. And I'm really sad for the family members and everybody who really had a stake in that in any fashion with the people involved. But anyway, that's just absolutely insane, man. Thinking they were still alive. That's nuts. And then Disney, a lot of these woke brands tanking Disney, Target. Anyway, but Disney was tanking on the Little Mermaid. And they actually released, I don't even think a lot of people heard about it. I didn't, unless, you know, it was an article about how bad it did. But Elemental 2 
it, it was just ridiculous. Well, actually, not Elemental too, but Elemental, which I don't even know what it was about, but did not do well at all. Not at all. So I really hope that Disney starts rolling back some of this crap, which back to Starbucks and everything. I heard that they started rolling back a lot of the Pride stuff and a lot of this woke, recent woke stuff that's being, you know, attached to the Pride and, and all that. So their HQ denied it, but I wouldn't doubt it because these companies are losing billions and they should just be totally, like, eradicated in that sense where... You know, competition is supposed to wipe these companies out. When you're doing stuff like this that is just, you know, you're not you're not working with your customers in that sense. Like you you're just pandering to political ideology and everything. Like get back to your products and and keep all the bullshit out of it. Thank you. Goodbye. Like, you know, put your mermaid in in her freaking her swimsuit and stop with the, the fucking propaganda here. And then Mulvaney, too, Dylan Mulvaney, the Budweiser guy, that dude's been totally silent. Star the Target tanked like probably twenty billion at this point, around twenty billion, I think. I know fifteen million for sure. Fifteen billion for sure. But maybe we're around twenty billion at this point. I know I was talking about how the parking lot was was empty. And uh Yeah, they they uh they impeached Joe Biden, I think we uh, I think we went over that for the most part, but yeah, there's been a lot of gears working, the cogs, the the machinery is is really moving around here, for sure, and uh, just having having the time of our lives with this right now because for the past few years, it's been it's been a shit show, absolutely. Just some old fashioned grape juice. And uh yeah, man. I'd love some people to tell me about, you know, just some of the some of the things that they caught that caught their interest because there, there's so much stuff going on you almost can't even keep up with it. Like everybody everybody's got their their venues that they go to for things, you know, and it's so at this point you could just be totally immersed in one aspect of life. You don't even you don't even need to start delving into anything else. You could just be totally consumed by something. And uh, you know, could have a good result or a bad result to be quite honest, but I think it's good to keep keep things diversified and really really stretch out and do your thing to be a worldly person in that sense because it, it, there's a lot of shit going on man humans are amazing very ingenuitive and we come up with stuff inventive figure out solutions to all types of stuff no matter what's going on people always got something they can bring to the party know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about now you know like being overweight shit like that Starbucking. You you could be the fat guy that dances at the party. You know, Jeb got his jiggle. Like there's that guy on IG, the Indian guy. He's always showing up, and he's doing his his thing. He's doing his big, big stomach jiggle. <laughs> he's doing his thing. So it's like you know, you could be that guy. You could burn that off. Like me, I was fourteen, fucking doing great, baking every night, baby. Every night, right before bed. Put that bacon fat on your hair, your head. You see it in there? You see that bacon fat? <laughs> yeah. Got bacon fat in my brain at this point. Just mush rolling around. But yeah, it's been it's been uh it's been a wild week. I don't know. And then everything got better really. Rough patch with my wife, you know. Gotta make amends. Cause you gotta you gotta just look at that timeline. Like where's everything gonna go? Where's everything going to go? You're just going to end up... Like, like, you just play it out. Like, like all these fights and stuff that happen. It's just like a matter of time before something happens. Like, you know, you're going to break up. You're going to end it. Like, figure it out right there. Like, just, just think it out. 
you know because if it's gonna if it's gonna be that way it should be pretty easy to like figure that out i don't know in my head i see things pretty clearly down the line with with like myself to completely not so much but when anybody else is involved i've been like a fortune teller like you know things just speak to me in that way so down the line i could just see what's gonna happen i know that I'm gonna end up saying sorry she's gonna come back this and that you know so you gotta get over that stuff especially once you're married like forget about it there's a reason why i got married and even though there's some crazy stuff that happens you know some unexpected things that happen i mean if you're making some wise decisions then you should be fairly fairly understanding of like you know what somebody's got to be the one that's always hanging in there because if both of you guys give up then definitely something's wrong but when somebody's always hanging in there there's there's recompense you can actually like make amends and get things moving pretty quickly but if you're both at heads forget about it it's never i don't even know how those people work it out and they don't if they have anything they get back together they end up fighting you know and like they just they live with this tension and i can't i cannot do it i'm i cannot keep my mouth shut like that like i can i can physically feel tension like when there's even the slightest thing like even you know a remark that indicates that you're completely unhappy with something whatever it might be like i don't know i'm not always going to confront those things but when it comes to you know being stuck in the same room with somebody for an extended period of time like absolutely like these things are in some way they're going to come to a head you might not even say a word but guess what you're going to keep doing this back and forth ping pong you know bouncing each other's energy off each other spitefully in your actions and everything so it's just toxic man it's toxic behavior and i have to realize when i do things wrong and if somebody else fucks up guess what if they're not the type of person to admit they're wrong, they're never going to do it when they're pissed off. That's an absolute fact. So the best thing you can do is try and make amends and then let them fucking try and work that out. When they're, when they're more rational, because guess what? When it comes to women, when they're irrational, they're emotional. And when they're emotional, they're irrational. So the two were inexplicably inexplicably linked and cannot be undone it's like the unstoppable force and the immovable object just chasing each other around themselves so you know sometimes you just have to realize the only way to get make some movement forward is to kind of change the path change the the ground you're on because when you're on a woman's terrain guess what boy you you're going for a ride man sometimes good sometimes bad so yeah you gotta do what you can you gotta do what you can because trying to change somebody else is never going to really make it your easiest path that's for sure so you know you could change yourself and then it makes it way easier to kind of approach those people because obviously something you were doing didn't work did not work my friend so try something else with the level head realize what you did wrong at least change that you know as a man we got the extra energy we got that we got that internal i don't give a shit you know type of thing some guy tells you you know he thinks you got a small dick you tell him bro look at look at everything that's going on around me you know what i'm saying i don't give a shit what you think right now like i got results here you know you can talk about my small dick look at you bro you're talking about my small dick what's going on with you what's going on over there you got like a fucking you don't got a small dick you probably got like a spaghetti string you know what i'm saying oh yeah it's a little bigger than mine or longer than mine but that shit you ain't got any girth my friend you're not doing nothing with that limp fucking noodle <laughs> so anyway um you know we're getting totally off topic we always got to bring up dicks dude something fucking wrong with you who's talking about some other man's gots over here his gots in his fucking goo so yeah anyway a lot of crazy shit life wife just gotta bring it in sometimes you gotta do what you can man up man up pull your testicles in 
and let your cock fucking swing and just just get it going you know what i mean testicles they gotta maintain the right temperature because that's why they're outside your body there's also one of them is a little bit lower than the other one you know they they, they stay on a on an irregular routine and that's so that you know you crush your fucking thigh together bah, like that that makes sure that those bad boys can swoop they swivel they swivel. They make sure that whoop you could bring that swag to the next fucking generation. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, you gotta remember that we only live like fucking seventy years on average. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying we make it like seventy and we're done. I'm just saying on average. We're talking like in the West, probably like toward eighty. Anyway, point is. We don't live long, man. We don't live long. Like, I'm, I'm fucking 32 years old, and I feel like I'm starting to run out of RAM, starting to run out of memory, starting to run out of everything right now. Like, you know, I think they found out, like, 26, that's where your, your body, around 26, give or take, everybody's different. Around 26, your body, that's where you really start to age, and you actually start to die in that sense, because your body is not replacing the cells that you're losing at a at a at the same rate so like you were pretty much matching maybe even outdoing the cells that you were losing but now 26 whatever it might be hello happy birthday 26 yeah. and then now you're dying so you know everything starts going you you feel it you feel it it's gradual you know you get that back pain but it doesn't go away it just comes back comes back it gets a little worse and then your knee pain yeah it gets a little worse you know you can't fucking pee too well things are you know that slowly that that's where you got to be like all right now my body's not replacing everything at the same rate so i gotta compensate you know i think that's why you either like you know you live free or die baby because you got that choice you got that choice to start compensating you know, doing some exercise. We used to be of the idea that, oh, exercise, you know, you use your heart. Your heart's only ha your heart only has a certain amount of pumps and this and that. And thinking in that line, you wouldn't think. It's like, all right, well, exercise is gonna kill you, stuff like that. But it's not true. When you work out your organs, your your heart specifically, it gets stronger. So, where you would think that it's working more, it's actually not. Because it's stronger, it has to work less. And so, you know, people who work out their heart more, they actually have a lower heart rate during strenuous activity. So their heart is actually able to do more with less. So, you know, things are counterintuitive sometimes with life, where it's like, yeah, like, I had a surgery. I was looking to join the Navy when I was, like, 23 years old. And I had to have a minor surgery that would, basically, to correct something that would have disqualified me at some point during the the processing. So, um, I was told not to do any strenuous exercise for six months after they operated on my stomach down to my groin and from my butt well from the top of my or i guess my lower back the end of my lower back to you know maybe a little bit down my butt crack but anyway i i took that advice pretty seriously you know i i was hurt and bothered like every time i would use those muscles it bothered me it hurt I, they were giving me medication for a little bit for the pain, and I was told to take Tylenol after the medication was not prescribed. But anyway, you know, I really should have done exercise. Like, my stomach just dropped. Like, it looked flat. Like, like when somebody loses their, like, 600 pounds, and they lose 200, and there's just that, like, bleep, that, that that stuff that's got no muscle in it. Like, that's how my stomach looked. It didn't, like, it wasn't a ball. Like, it didn't curl up and have the little, nice, tight, tight little, little boundary looking like a muffin top. No, it didn't have that. It just looked like saggy, 
saggy dough falling over my side. So, you know, and I, I wasn't happy with that at all. So probably about five, six months in, I started to do a little bit of, of every, you know, like some type of exercise and everything. But, you know, everything felt strenuous because it would hurt. But after building up some muscle and working that out, like things actually got better. So, you know, you really got to, you got to take everything and consider it truly. And be, you know, you got to understand that your body is a very strong thing, especially when you're young. And I should have taken that, taken advantage of that for sure. Because, you know, now I, I have a gut that anyway i could still work on that and everything but i lost a lot of muscle created problems it, it wasn't the best way to deal with things and this was doctors recommending this shit so you know pretty strong pretty strong you see that you're getting hurt and you're getting fucked up and everything like that you, you stop you know but a little bit of pain a little bit of suffering that's fine man that's fine that's life you're not going to get any better running away from that and turning that down shying away from that but um yeah I'm, I'm really happy i was able to speak to you guys today get back to you i really hope everybody's been doing all right love some input let me know what you guys love to talk about i know that there's some people love to to go into uh you know dealing with some of the stressors of people with ms they tend to have a very short temper and be kind of like bipolar in some ways and i could definitely understand that maybe i went over a little bit of that today maybe not but at least you got to understand the mindset of somebody who might might be doing that from time to time and re regrettably but anyway guys appreciate you listening thanks please like subscribe follow leave your thoughts love it list it appreciate it Bye, guys. Take care.